It's a day of Falcon Pride and American Pride in Harmony. KIMT News 3's Annalise Johnson takes us there to Fillmore Central for the sending off of a teacher and soldier. It's not goodbye, but see you later as Fillmore Central High School sends off a hometown hero. Fillmore Central High Schoolers, area veterans and family members gathered to offer a fitting send off to Spanish teacher and soldier Brandy Mayer, known as Profe, short for Profesora, to her students. I'm very, very overwhelmed by um, the amount of gratitude that I'm getting from the community. Um, my, I mean, my students are my world. She's been in the National Guard since 2015 and is heading out on her first deployment. It's been a long time coming. I feel more than prepared to do what I need to on the military side. It's just the hardest part is leaving my students. Mayor always knew she wanted to be a teacher. I loved school so much when I was growing up. I mean, I loved learning new things. And was moved to join the National Guard by 9-11 and other family in the military. I wanted to actually be an interpreter with the Army full time. Um, and I had some things come across the way and I just fell in love with teaching and I decided I could do both. She's living out both of her dreams, serving her community and her country. Anyone that uh, steps forward and takes that oath to protect and serve um, and has my greatest respect. As her community honors her today, she wants her students to know they can do anything. I'm a teacher, I'm a soldier, I'm living two, in two very different worlds in terms of careers and um, with that being said I want I want my students to know that they can do it all that if they try and they put everything into it that they can accomplish almost anything Miss Mayer is asking students to keep her updated on their lives during her deployment using the Instagram hashtag keeping up with profe 2020 in harmony Annalise Johnson KIMT news 3. Mayor is going to the Middle East to continue the mission the 34th Expeditionary Combat Aviation Brigade returned from in 2015. She'll return to Minnesota and her classroom in a little over a year.